Linda Babcock, Ask For It, How Women Can Use the Power of Negotiation to Get What They Really Want. Embark on an empowering journey to harness the power of negotiation with the book Task For It, How Women Can Use the Power of Negotiation to Get What They Really Want, by Linda Babcock. Explore your innate ability to discern your true desires and learn how to control your destiny in the pursuit of personal and professional satisfaction. This book equips you with essential tips and strategies to excel in the fine art of negotiation and champion your own ambitions. From understanding the limitations of a traditional mindset to examining the importance of information, cooperation, and communication tailored to the female experience. This accessible and engaging summary illuminates the path to success and fulfillment for women of all ages. Finding your true desires. It can be difficult to separate our true desires from societal expectations, especially for women. In order to discover what you truly want in life, you should consider reflecting upon your childhood interests and analyze what may be missing from your current reality. Rediscovering old passions, like Vanessa finding her love for gardening and Michelle her love for drawing, can lead to a more fulfilled, balanced, and happy life. Once you've identified your desires, you can take charge of your life and make your dreams a reality. As children, we were constantly asked what we wanted to be when we grew up. Fast forward to adulthood, and that question still lingers. Determining the answer, however, isn't as simple as it used to be. In today's world, women often struggle to untangle their genuine ambitions from the expectations society has placed upon them. Take Vanessa, a friend of the author, who felt compelled to pursue a teaching career because her mother and sister had done the same. Yet, upon entering the profession, she realized it wasn't the right fit. Instead of settling, Vanessa reflected on her true desires and found her calling in the great outdoors, ultimately starting a thriving landscaping business. If you're yearning to uncover your own true desires, start by asking yourself what's missing in your life. Revisit activities from your past that brought you joy and consider how they might fit into your present. Michelle, another friend of the author, found herself feeling unfulfilled despite her successful career and loving family. By exploring her memories, she realized that her once favorite pastime, drawing, was absent from her life. She enrolled in drawing classes, reigniting her creativity and filling that void she'd been feeling for so long. Once you've pinpointed your life's missing puzzle pieces, you're ready to take control and create the life of your dreams. As you embrace your true desires and make them a reality, you'll find greater balance, fulfillment, and happiness. Rethinking Control and Worth Imagine a luxurious hotel suite with all the amenities except a bathrobe. Many women would accept this even if they genuinely wanted the robe. Studies from the 1980s and 1990s showed that women tend to believe life controls them, rather than the other way around. This mindset exists globally and translates to women not asking for raises enough. Psychologist Lisa Barron's 2006 study found that 85% of men believed they determined their value in the workplace, while only 17% of women agreed. This mindset contributes to an imbalance of power where employers control an individual's worth. It's essential for women to rethink this mindset and learn to negotiate for fair compensation. Mastering Everyday Negotiations Negotiation is a tool we use every day, whether it's asking for a salad without croutons or requesting a shorter work week. To be a successful negotiator, remember to be honest and communicate effectively. Listen closely, exchange information, and weigh risks as you work towards a solution. Preparation is crucial, so consider any obstacles you may face and plan your BATNA, best alternative to a negotiated agreement, ahead of time. By identifying how much to ask for and having backup options, you'll be well equipped to navigate any negotiation with confidence. Master Negotiation with Information Dispelling the myth that effective negotiation depends on one's ability to bluff, the true secret to success is information. Armed with accurate data during salary discussions, for instance, not only empowers your argument but also helps you avoid undervaluing yourself. 
This is especially important for women who tend to underestimate themselves in negotiations. As a result, access to relevant information enables more confident and successful bargains. The power of negotiation goes beyond a convincing poker face. Rather, valuable information is your most potent weapon when negotiating. Knowing which demands are practical and which are not can significantly improve the outcome. For example, if you ask for a 15% salary raise and your boss rejects it, you could provide data showing that the average salary for your role is, indeed, 15% higher than your current pay. To bolster your argument, research salaries at competing companies for comparable positions, giving you the conviction to stand firm even if your initial proposal is rebuffed. While it's essential to remain realistic during negotiations, it's equally vital not to undervalue yourself. When envisioning your job aspirations, don't settle for small improvements. Aim for a bigger leap and be prepared with the information necessary to justify your request. A study conducted by the author revealed that women, in particular, underestimate themselves due to insufficient information. This led to women receiving 19% less in end-of-year bonuses compared to men. However, when women had access to information about starting salaries, their pay was only 6% less than their male counterparts. Thus, the right information helps bridge the gap. Ultimately, having accurate and relevant information elevates your negotiation game and ensures that you don't sell yourself short, especially for women who often underestimate their worth. Don't hesitate to ask for more when you're armed with the right facts. Uncover hidden negotiation keys. When focusing too much on a specific goal or task, it's easy to miss important information that could be crucial to achieving the desired outcome. This applies to negotiations as well. It's essential to invest time in gathering information and understanding the other party's needs or priorities. This not only helps in negotiating better deals but also creates opportunities for personal growth, as illustrated by the stories of Twyla and Erica. In a famous study, participants became so engrossed in observing specific details of a basketball game that they failed to notice a person in a gorilla suit walking across the court. This reveals how focusing too much on particular aspects can lead to overlooking crucial information. This principle applies to negotiations, wherein you might misunderstand the other side's priorities if you're overly focused on your own. For instance, Twyla, an aspiring director, offered a large sum to an author for the rights to adapt his novel about a hurricane-affected family. Despite her generous offer, Twyla didn't get the rights because she didn't realize that the author's priority was the creative and accurate portrayal of his story. Had she inquired more about his concerns, she might have succeeded. The importance of information gathering is also illustrated by Erica, an assistant buyer at a homeware store who wished to get promoted. Upon learning that a new, high-end cooking equipment store would soon open nearby, Erica took the initiative to research luxury European kitchenware. A year later, she approached her boss with her newfound knowledge and expertise, which resulted in a promotion and higher salary. Ultimately, understanding the other party's desires and priorities is crucial in negotiations. Gathering information allows you to tailor your approach, negotiate better deals, uncover hidden opportunities, and foster personal growth. Unlocking win-win negotiations Embracing qualities such as empathy and cooperation can lead to successful negotiations that benefit everyone involved. Through interest-based negotiation, Parties can find solutions that satisfy each other's needs and desires, turning potential conflicts or compromises into true win-win scenarios. Natural abilities women often possess, like empathy and creative problem-solving, can prove to be ideal for successful negotiations. Cooperation is more effective than competition, as it results in outcomes that benefit all parties. The ultimate goal is to strive for win-win scenarios, where everyone's desires are taken into account. Imagine a newlywed couple, Sophia and James, determining where to spend their vacation. Sophia longs for a beach holiday, while James prefers camping in the mountains. There are three potential outcomes for their dilemma. 1. A win-slash-lose situation where one person's desires are sacrificed for the others. 2. 
a compromise, dividing the week between the beach and the mountains. 3. A win-win approach that caters to both their interests. By utilizing cooperative, interest-based negotiation, Sophia and James can find a satisfying solution for both parties. For example, they could choose Costa Rica, a destination offering beautiful beaches and ample hiking opportunities. Interest-based negotiation is about considering everyone's interests and working toward the best joint solution. It contrasts with position-based negotiation, where parties defend their stance without considering others' perspectives. A real-life example showcases the effectiveness of interest-based negotiation. When offered a chairwoman position on a college committee, the author was concurrently busy writing a book. To accommodate her time constraints, all involved parties found a win-win solution by reducing her teaching workload, providing the necessary time to both lead the committee and complete her book. In conclusion, adopting qualities of empathy, listening attentively, and working cooperatively enables win-win negotiations. This approach benefits all parties involved by taking everyone's interests into account, fostering satisfying resolutions. Negotiation Prowess for Women While women can be just as adept at negotiating as men, societal expectations and gender norms often require them to communicate with more diplomacy and friendly demeanors. Alexandra's experience shows how a confident and direct approach to salary negotiations can backfire for women in male-dominated industries. A 2007 study further supports this notion, revealing that boldly requesting higher pay makes female job seekers 50% less likely to be hired, regardless of the evaluator's gender. Although frustrating, understanding and adapting to these implicit biases can greatly impact women's success in the workplace. Aware of their negotiation prowess, many women still face the challenge of having to carefully navigate communication norms in the workplace. Take Alexandra for instance, a talented designer, she was seeking a role with higher pay, and, well within the salary range, confidently requested $58,000. Surprisingly, the hiring manager took Alexandra's assertiveness as a sign of poor teamwork, purely because her approach was considered too aggressive. But why does this matter so much? The unfortunate truth is that female professionals are often penalized when showcasing confidence in industries dominated by men. To overcome this, women should adopt a diplomatic approach, utilizing friendly tones and positive body language to ensure their message is well received. A study conducted in 2007 confirmed this tactic's effectiveness. Videos of interns discussing salary expectations were evaluated by participants who made hiring decisions based on their impressions. Results showed that assertive female interns were 50% less likely to be hired, while bold male interns were typically viewed as assertive, especially by male participants. However, female evaluators didn't exhibit the same leniency toward their male counterparts. Ultimately, it is crucial for women to communicate pleasantly and non-threateningly to increase their likelihood of success within the workplace, despite the inherent unfairness of this reality. By acknowledging and adapting to implicit biases, women can better navigate the dynamics of professional environments. Mastering Negotiation Strategies To become a skilled negotiator, focus on your upper target, control the pace, and state your offer clearly. By actively directing your attention on achieving the best possible outcome, taking your time to understand the situation fully, and practicing effective communication, you'll increase your chances of attaining success in negotiations. In every negotiation, aim high and concentrate on the optimum possible outcome. Research conducted by psychologist A.D. Galinsky in 2002 showed that those who focused on their upper targets negotiated higher figures and allowed more time before settling the agreement. This mindset influenced salaries by 11 to 13 percent, demonstrating that striving for your upper target can notably benefit you financially. Maintaining control in negotiations is critical, especially when it comes to managing the tempo. Don't allow yourself to be pushed around or rushed. Ensure both parties have enough time to express their interests and concerns, allowing you to thoroughly understand the situation at hand. This approach helps keep the conversation balanced and fruitful. When presenting your offer, be clear and calm. 
It's essential to have practiced your pitch beforehand to effectively communicate your stance. After stating your position, listen carefully to the other party's response. Take a deep breath, gather your thoughts, and make your next move deliberately. Should you find yourself losing control or getting too caught up in emotions during the negotiation, take measures to slow down the momentum. Request a brief break, or politely let the other party know that you need a moment to review the points discussed thus far. This strategy allows you to regain your composure and maintain clarity in the process. By keeping these tactics in mind during negotiations, you'll be better equipped to achieve favorable outcomes and walk away triumphant. In summary, Ask For It guides women in realizing their aspirations and gaining control over their lives by honing their negotiation skills. The book highlights the importance of nurturing self-awareness, unearthing one's hidden potential, and gathering pertinent information to make a compelling case in any bargaining scenario. It also emphasizes the effectiveness of cooperative approaches and empathetic communication, while cautioning against the pitfalls of a single-minded focus. By incorporating the principles laid forth in this insightful summary, female readers gain the confidence and know-how to effectively negotiate for fair and deserved compensation, career advancement, and work-life harmony. Embrace the power of negotiation and unleash the limitless possibilities awaiting every woman.